Lou, we got to look at the Mavericks, though, because obviously all the pressure on them tonight going home. Um, specifically want to break it down who the pressure is on most, Luca or Kyrie? Definitely going to be Luca. You know, Luca is, Luca, Luca is the head of the snake. He's going to be the, head, the, the guy that has the most pressure. And what Boston has done with this series is they've made it about winning plays. They've made it about 50-50 hustle plays. And Luca got, he has to get involved in that style of basketball game. He almost has to get desperate. You know, he, Luca's not going to turn into a, a lockdown defender, sort of say, sort of speak, but his mm. communication has to rise. He has to be in the right places uh, on defense so they can play team defense. And he got to got to get his hands on some of these 50-50 balls, and he got to get a little dirtier than usual. You know, Jason Tatum has shown he's he hasn't shot the ball at a great clip, but he's learned a way to impact the game in different ways. Luca has to be the person that does that for the for the Dallas Mavericks. And listen, the pressure is on Luca. But it would be nice if Kyrie relieves a lot of that pressure yes, and turn into, you know, the wizard that we've become accustomed to seeing. But this this comes down to how well Luca's going to play, and then Kyrie is going to be the guy to help him relieve that. Yeah, I think if the pressure were to be on Kyrie, it's only because of his struggles in Game One too. It's only because of how magnified this the storylines surround right. him are. So yeah, he had two bad games, Game Two, but that could also change with Kyrie just erupting and going nuts in Game Three and Game Four and getting this series back tied, going back to. Boston all squared up for game five. So I, I also think it's Luka. I think he has to be the best player on the floor. We said this before the series started. Dallas Mavericks have to be damn near perfect. They have to be elite. They have to get something from everybody. Luka Kyrie have to stay out of foul trouble and they have to be efficient. They haven't done that so far. So I think Kyrie also has a lot on his plate because he's got to be better. He's been so good in those first couple of series and he just hasn't been that same player this series. So for them to get a win tonight, especially at home, they, I'd like to get Kyrie Irving going early. And again, it's not, I think Drew's size and his length is bothering him, but he's getting to his spots. He's just he's just yeah. not making bunnies that he usually makes. So I, I look for him to have a big game three tonight. Is this, would you say, I love being dramatic, <clears throat> the biggest, most important game of Kyrie's career tonight? Uh, he's never going to say that. That might be yeah. Lucas. Yeah, I mean, right now, oh, this okay. Kyrie's yeah. played in the game seven before. Right. In the NBA Finals. So this may be another one of, one of those like games. 1B. Yeah, this may <laughs> be another one, but he's he's played in one of the most important games there is when it comes to the NBA Finals and trying to win <laughs> championships. This is Luca's first time around. This is probably one of Luca's, but I, I don't think so for, for Kyrie. And Yeah, I would say yes, because being down 2-0 is a lot different than being down 3-0, and you don't want to get swept to the Finals. So Right. Being, the, right now, there's still a chance. There's there's still hope in this locker room that if they get game three, anything can happen. Two ones possible. Losing this game, going down 3-0, you just know the morale is down, the confidence is down. That, that That's a tough blow. So I do think this is a huge game for Dallas. And it's a huge game for Boston just to kind of shut the door and kind of know, you know, th this, this is over. We're not playing with our food. Th this is it. So I think, obviously, the pressure falls on Dallas because this is an absolute must win for them. Staying with Dallas, Shams, your biggest storyline for them tonight is what? It's, it is a must win for, for the Mavericks. 1,000% it's a must win. And Kyrie Irving, he understands. He has to play better. It starts with Luka Doncic. Kyrie Irving, you expect the role players to play better. But you look at his stats this year. It's 14 points a game, 35% uh, from the field. It reminds me a lot of the 2016 finals, 2017 finals. He struggled in one and two of, that, of those series as well. Obviously, this series going back to Boston, it's magnified a little bit more. But... He has struggled in the past in the first couple games and then has just erupted in three and four. So the Mavericks obviously hoping that that's a trend, but he's got to shake Drew Holiday, right? He's Sheesh. two for eight against Drew in 50 possessions, six points. That's not going to get it done when that's your primary defender. He knows he has to get better uh, and be better in game three, and I, I do think being at home is going to help him. Being away from Boston is going to help. Shaking Drew Holiday. That seems like a very tall task <clears throat> to, uh, to figure out tonight. But... Take a little moment, look at the Celtics for a second. Um, Tatum has offensively struggled and has not been bad by any stretch of the imagination. His coach, Joe Mazzulla, said he's making greatness look easy, Lou. Talk to me a little bit about Tatum and his impact. He's playing great team basketball. I think with his, with his offensive struggles and not being able to shoot the ball the way that he's wanted to, he's made the decision to, I'm going to go out and I'm just going to make winning plays. You know, if they're gonna put two guys on, if they're gonna put two guys on me, I'm gonna make the easy pass and, and, and give the ball to the to the guy that's open. Or I'm gonna get on the offensive glass. I'm gonna get 50-50 basketballs. I'm gonna be a lockdown defender. He's just made up his mind, no matter what, I'm gonna make a positive impact on this series. Every single game, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna give us an opportunity to win games outside of just being able to score the basketball. He's, he's showing 
the epitome of being a team player, team basketball player, and keeping the, the main thing the main thing. That's winning the <laughs> NBA championship. He doesn't care about scores and this and that. We talk about Luka missing bunnies. Jason Tatum is still getting the shots where he wants to. Even when he's not settling for threes, he's getting to the rim, and he's missing some of those, and those are, those are bunnies for him. Those are easy one-two punches that he can go out there, he can score. That can change from him having uh, the difference between 14 points and 20 points just by the difference of him making two or three different layups. But other than that, he just went out and just making winning plays. So you got to love a guy like that, especially when your best player is diving on the floor, when he's getting offensive <laughs> rebounds, when he's making the open pass, it's contagious, and it, where it gives everybody else the confidence to do the same thing and give you an opportunity to win. You know what's interesting about this is – Tatum has not been himself averaging the 30 and, and, right. and being efficient offensively. But if this were Luka, if this were Jokic, we would be praising him, how he's getting his teammates involved, how he's letting the game come to him. He's how they're one rebound away from a triple How their play. offense is more balanced. And, and by the way, they're, you know what the most important? They're winning. So we're still finding a way to nitpick Jason Tatum, even though they are dominating this postseason. They've been cakewalking to the finals. They've been cakewalking in the finals, and that is without their best player, Jason Tatum, dominating and playing the game. The guy's averaging 17, not 10, that and 8. Oh, no. If he ends up with a triple, that's my point. What? If, he he for those the, if the, the Nuggets were up 2-0, no. if the Nuggets were up 2-0 right now. What if he averages a triple-double in the NBA finals, and they win it all? But you know what I'm saying? If the Nuggets like 17, 10, and 10. You if the say? Nuggets were up 2-0 right now, and those were Jokic's number, we'd be praising him. How he's a triple double monster. How he's getting his teammates involved. How he's doing this. How he's doing that. Why is it Jason? Why is it a negative on Jason Tatum that Jalen Brown's having a great series? That Drew Holiday had a big game too. That Porzingis had a big game one. That's not, that shouldn't take away from Jason Tatum's excellence just because his team is really good. These other guys are playing good. Now, do you want to see him come up big in the fourth quarter? Do you want to see him be more efficient? For sure. Just like Dallas wants to see Kyrie Irving be efficient. But at the end of the day, he is doing enough for their team to win. He might be taking a back seat in certain scenarios and plays that he usually doesn't because he's struggling a little bit offensively. But these numbers aren't bad, and he's not like he's not doing anything else. He's defending. He's making the right team plays. So it's just funny to me that this team has lost two games in the postseason, and we're, we're, we're trying to <laughs> nitpick this dude. Like, let leave, leave him alone. But at 17, 10, 8 and a half, imagine he's making shots, and this is like a 25, 10 I mean, and, yeah. and a half. Yeah, he's Could've He's literally <laughs> two shots away from averaging 20, <laughs> 20, 10, and 10. He's two like, layups away from thing, averaging 20, 20 plus. I just think the world's expectations, uh, the sports world's expectations of Jason Tatum are so high. But think that about that. During the Nuggets run, were we it. trying to say Murray's better than Jokic or AD is better than like, LeBron? Like, we never, we never try and put those. No, but for these some two reason, have there's always this been thing with the Celtics, how we're trying to like. We kind of did with the Nuggets. It was a, it was a never, moment where we were trying to say like. Murray was is Murray the, the the is he the best player? See the closer, like yeah. when, when Middleton was we the tried, closer and not Giannis, that. like, but it just seemed like it's more, it's more extreme with the, it's more extreme with these two. Maybe they, they, people like, just I don't teammates know. aren't always best friends either. By the way, like most of them aren't. Us. Most of, yeah, <laughs> most, most of them aren't. It's a, that newsflash. They, they they all don't kick it all the time. They have their own shit going on, their own family. <laughs> this two, this duo is dominating. The Boston Celtics are dominating. We should be talking about that, not Jason Tatum's field goal percentage. Who gives a fuck?